welcome everyone. Today we have with us beautiful artist Lisa Owen from Temecula. Uh, would you please introduce yourself to us? I'm Lisa Owen. I am originally from Seattle. I've been in Temecula now for 20 years and I have been painting live events, community events, and lately weddings and celebrations for the last 15 years locally. Wow, that's impressive. Can you describe your artistic journey and what led you to pursue painting career? Uh, I didn't, I suppose in elementary school I wanted to be an artist, everybody wanted to be an artist in elementary school, and then when I got to college I didn't want anything to do with it, I wanted to do something more academic, and I've always tried to push art away, and it creeps in, uh, it's crept into every single position that I've ever had. So uh, I started doing restaurant chalkboards and people's wedding announcements and programs and menus and things like that. So uh, creativity has always been a part of it, but I didn't really start painting until I moved to Temecula uh, because of the light and the sunshine. Yeah, of course, it's beautiful here. And behind us, we have one of your beautiful paintings. So what would you say, what are the themes and concepts do you explore in your work and what are what is the significance? Well this particular work behind us is a depiction of the Temecula rod run mm -hmm. from the most recent one, the most recent year. Uh, I set up at the end of Old Town and I had this marvelous view uh, down Front Street and was able to capture just the energy. Uh, my style is very loose, uh, really bright, bold brush strokes, and really gesture sketches of people. I don't do a lot of really specific facial features in my live work. That's a live work. I also do studio work when I'm, you know, um, not standing there with inspiration in my face. But as far as inspiration and what, what uh, inspires me and what takes me to the beginning, to the end of a project, something like this, I set up, I start painting. Uh, during the event, and I, when I, the event's finished, I'm finished, and it's instant painting. Wow. And to further this more, can you explain a little more about your technique and materials you're using? I often paint in acrylic when I'm doing live work because it dries very quickly, especially in Temecula where our humidity is so low, it dries almost sometimes before I can get the brush to the canvas. Uh, and I like the colors, it's easy to use and it can build upon itself. So most often I'm painting in acrylic, but I work in all media. I paint it in oil, watercolor, uh, I illustrate pen and ink, and I also do digital media too. Well, I can't wait to see all your art. Uh, how do you approach your creative process? Do you listen to music? Do you like uh, peace? Do you meditate? I find inspiration is really not linear for me. It just hits me. I could be doing the dishes or doing something random and I want to capture whatever is going on in my head or idea right then. I really like painting to music, but I often forget to paint to music. I'm halfway through something and I'm thinking, oh, I'd really like some music right now. Uh, and then these live works where I'm just standing there, there's often conversations and energy and uh, you know people all around me, the inspiration's just in my face there and I'm just trying to capture just the glimpses, like I said, of the character and the energy of the event before me. But if it's a studio piece, like something that I'm not looking at, a crowd scene specifically, um, I, I really just have to work as fast as possible when it hits. Is there, would you say, is there any painting that is favored to you and why? Of mine or of, of mine? Of yours. Uh, my, my favorite painting is always the one that I'm working on right now. <laughs> so the one that I'm working on, I'm working on a studio piece right now and it's a floral. And uh, I was watching Devil Wears Prada, which is one of my daughter's favorite daughter's favorite movies. And uh, Meryl Streep's character is saying, oh, florals for spring, how groundbreaking. And I'm doing a floral, so the title of it's going to be Florals Groundbreaking. So, oh, wow. So that's my favorite painting right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of inspired me right now to ask you this question. Who is your favorite artist and painter? Uh, there is a lot of really amazing painters currently, but historically my favorite painter is Gustav Klimt. Mm -hmm. uh, he has work that, that when you start to follow an artist, I'm a real art history buff as well, but our artist's work uh, can be all over the place. You, you can see an artist that did really realistic oil portraits at the beginning of their career and at the end are doing really intense abstracts uh, and just taking a, a 
different uh, paths during their career, and I, I really like his use of geometry. He uses a lot of uh, gold, gilded gold, yes. and repeating patterns, and I find him really eye-catching and incredibly creative. And he uses realistic faces and patterns in his work a lot, and that, that really inspires me. Talking about him, I have a cup at home with his image, the classic one. The, the, the one that, yes. <laughs> So lastly, but not at least, how do you see your work evolving in the future? Um, that's a really good question. I, uh, I, I still am exploring different media. I don't do a lot of oil painting. I'd like to get more into oil painting. Uh, the, the brush stroke that the oil leaves behind is very different than acrylic. Acrylic tends to flatten out. I'd like to do a really chunky, meaty oil painting. Uh, and then maybe that takes me into a, a different genre. I don't think I would do live work in oil because it would never dry, but I don't know. I could figure that out. Uh, but just to keep painting, um, I've been doing more events, not necessarily weddings, uh, but I've been doing galas and fundraisers and all sorts of really interesting venues. So I imagine that that will continue to become more interesting and who knows where I'll paint next. That's beautiful. So I would invite everyone to come to see her exhibition on next Thursday and uh, what did we are on the 28th? It's the 28th. 28th. At 5. At 5 o'clock we'll be here. We're going to have beautiful appetizers and wine and enjoy your artwork. Thanks so much for talking to me today. Oh, absolutely. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much. See you Thursday. See you Thursday. Bye-bye.